God's plan is to destroy sin, not people, not sinners. He wants to destroy sin. But in order for him to destroy sin, you have to be willing to let him remove sin out of you. That way when he destroys sins, you don't go with it. Because anything that is that is a recipient of sin will also be destroyed. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. Welcome back everyone. This is the Open Veil TV back with another video on the story of Noah. As I mentioned, this video is about um, the story of Noah. That somebody on my comment one time mentioned the story of Noah. And so now, here we are talking about the story of Noah. So, don't forget to, of course, like subscribe to that video or to the channel the open world tv you can also ring the bell right here and if you're a new subscriber right here as well you can put it on the chat comment new subscriber and next time i will give you a shout out without further ado Let's get back into the story. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. Now imagine you are 600 years old. That means for 120 years, that means he must have started building that ark at the age of 480 years. Or 46, 479 in between that range. Because it took 120 years for the flood to come. And here we are at 70, we are complaining about back problem. Man, I wonder how tall they were as well. Because this is some good thing. He was 600 years old. Let's move on. And Noah went in, and his sons and his wife, and his son's wife with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood of clean beasts. Now, here what happens. Um, the Bible always does that. It gives you the end result, and then later starts to tell you everything that happened before. You watch movie as well. Sometimes, even in this video, you see what you just saw before the video started was me talking during the video. And then, you see me starting the video. So that happens a lot. So the Bible also does that. And don't think it is, it is not weird. It just happens all the time. And let's move on now. Of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean, and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth, there went into in they went in, I mean into the ark, two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God hath commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days huh, after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth in the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month of the seventh of the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were open, and the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. Okay. 
let's talk about that so let me actually go back to um let me actually go back to see where that first came that seven days come from um Okay, so the seven days come from right here first. Now, okay, now. So you see that the Bible says seven days. Why seven days? But you know what? Hold on. Let's read more to get more context. Let's get more context. Verse 13. In the self same day entered Noah and Shem and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark, they and every beast after its kind, and all cattle after their kind, all creeping things that creepers upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, and every bird of every sort. And they went into they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, male and female, of all flesh, as God had commanded him, meaning Noah. And the Lord shut him in. And that happened on the first day of the seventh last day before the flood. How do we know that? Well, if you go back to where we started in verse number in verse number six and seven, the Bible says verse ten, and it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. So, before the flood came, God shot Noah in in the ark for seven days. This is an interesting part. Do you realize that? Do you realize that now I don't know. I don't know. When God closed or uh, when God so Noah didn't close the door. Noah didn't close the door. God closed the door. Now my question is, and this is the part I don't really know. If some pe- if if one person that was out of the ark repented and wanted to get into the ark if he had knocked would God had opened the door for that person that answer I don't know I would I would probably say I think he would but would that also be too late you see God didn't shut the door the day it was gonna rain God shut the door seven days before it rained. Hmm. So, I think at that time, their hearts were too hardened to be changed. Why? Because if for 120 years, Noah is building an ark, to save people and in 120 years nobody decided to change even when the ark was done and they saw the animals come in to the ark and nobody still changed and decided you know what let me go as well because this is something that is phenomenal how come all those animals are coming into the ark? How come the animals are obeying, yet 
we are not obeying? Is there something really going on? I'm thinking by that time, it is too late that they would, that their hearts were already hardened, that they would not even think about knocking on the door at that time. So God shut Noah in seven days prior the flood. Seven days prior the flood, prior to the flood, God shut them in. That means, yeah, there is no going back. Because I think at a certain point, they would not. And I'm, and I'm also, I'm also going to say this. I am sure that they also helped Noah build the ark. Yet they would not be saved. They would not want to be saved. Do you understand that? So, the flood came. The flood came. The Lord shut him in. Now, here's the thing. If if God didn't shut Noah in, let's say that means let's say God Noah was the one that closed the door. When the flood came and this when it started to rain and they realized their errors which is too late because at that point they don't want to be changed. They don't want to face the consequences of their bad action. If they had knocked on the door, would Noah have opened that door? And those questions, for you to know the answer, you may want to be saved. You may want to have to wait until God comes so you can ask him personally because I cannot answer that question. Some certain question that you have, you need to be saved so you can get those answers. Ask God those questions because He has an answer for that. But let's move on. Let's move on. So the flood now is on the earth. And people are drowning. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The duration of the flood. The duration of the flood. And the flood was 40 days upon the earth. And the waters increased and bare up the ark. And it was lifted above the earth, and the waters prevailed, and were increased greatly upon the earth. And the ark went upon the face of the waters, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the hills, all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Man! Imagine, imagine Mount Everest being covered by water. Imagine Mount Everest was covered by water. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail. Remember, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beasts and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, and every man. Oh, man. Um, so, the waters covered even the highest mountain, by 15 cubits. Remember, one cubit is 18 inch, 18 inches. So 15 cubits. Do you know how many that is? 
let's let, let's do a quick math um pretty quick math so you got 15 so that's 10 times 18 which is 180 and then you got 5 times 18 which is 90 so 180 plus 90 is 270 inches so 270 inches high Two hundred and seventeen and seventy inches high. Divide by twelve. That's about twenty-seven, and that's going to be two. That's three, thirty. That's that's about twenty-two feet high. So the the waters covered even the highest mountain by about twenty-two feet high. Let's see it again. 15 cubits upward did the mountains prevail and the mountain the waters prevail and the mountains were covered so so about 22 and 22 feet high 22 feet high at least higher than the highest mountain yeah there is no way you're going to be safe on that one Let's keep it moving. Hmm. Yeah. Verse 22. All in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land, died, and every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both men and cattle and the creeping things, and the fowl of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days. A hundred and fifty days. You have one month for thirty days, that's five months. You know what is sad about the story? I can guarantee you one thing for sure. God was not happy with the decisions that the people made. Not the, what they were doing, but the decisions of not wanting to be saved. Because here's the thing. I want you guys to understand that. This, the, here is why people are angry. When God destroyed the earth and the people were also destroyed, people have that mentality that God hates people. No, 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 no. Satan incite that bad thought in the people's mind to think of God as an evil God for destroying the earth. The people chose to be destroyed now here's something i'm going to say that is very key and if you can understand that you can understand that god is not evil but he's a just god when god saw the violence upon the earth the great sins god's plan is to destroy sin understand God's plan is to destroy sin, not people, not sinners. He wants to destroy sin. But in order for him to destroy sin, you have to be willing to let him remove sin out of you. That way when he destroys sins, you don't go with it. Because anything that is, that is a recipient of sin will also be destroyed. I'm going to say it again. God's plan is to destroy sin. But if you are a recipient of sin, that means if you are carrying sin, if you didn't want God to remove sin out of you 
before you destroy sin, you will go with it. So God's plan is not to destroy people, but sin. And of course, the people who chose to remain in sin, they chose to keep sin, they didn't want to let it go. So they preferred to be, to be destroyed with sin than to let sin be destroyed out of their lives. So the story of the flood is not actually about the flood. It's really about God destroying sin and people not willing to let go of sin. Because God could have destroyed the earth another way, a, a million other ways. He could have dis he could have decided to destroy the earth, but he used water, which is in a sense a form of baptism as well. So I hope now let's water pour for five months. Five months of the water stayed that high before it started to go down. Five months. 40 days and 40 nights. It's raining 40 days and 49 nonstop. When I grew up, I had a whole week of raining. Morning and night. All day long. People died. I know that. Because I lived in it. Imagine 40 days and 40 nights. A whole month. And 10 more days. Of rain. Non-stop. And water all. <laughs> increasing. Yeah. If you've been flooded before. You know what it's like. Because in 2 hours. It could be flooded. In some area of, the, of this country. It can. In 2 hours how fast the water is, how big or thick are the water, the, the drops, it can be flooded in less than two hours. It's not that easy, it's not, it's not that hard now. We can see it. So, guys, that was chapter 7. That was the, the remaining of chapter 7. The flood. I hope now at least you have a better understanding of what was really going on. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe right here. And you can always ring the bell as well. And of course, if you are a new subscriber over here, you can comment below and say you're a new subscriber so that next time I can give you a shout out. Thank you for watching the video. This video, hope to see you guys again. This was TOV, the Open Veil TV. Until then, bye for now.